A lot of cool stuff that I have planned for this truck, man, and it's all gonna be happening here basically all together. I used to be a frequent user of the center console. Yeah, I used to frequently use this. I used to put water in here. Obviously, you can put pencils here or whatever you want, but I never use that anymore. And of course, I had to repair this. This latch right here broke, but I super glued it, so it works great now. So it's such. There we go. We got another seat right here. I also. I don't know, I don't have a seat cover on this, and I usually only roll with two people. If there's ever any more people, we usually convoy, so that's why the seats in the back are usually never used either, unless I'm, I'm carrying stuff. That's why I love it. My friends with single cabs, they'd always say, why do you have an extended cab? You don't even need that. Single cabs are better and everything. Well, I'd rather be able to have base back here, because if you're rolling with someone else, you don't have to clutter everything in the middle between the two seats so you can just fly everywhere or something. I don't know. It's so much better to be able to put everything back there. Oh yeah, and another thing you guys probably don't know I have is that I have this Reese trailer braking assist. Press this, signals my brake lights, and it's, it's pretty cool. Brake lights are on right now, and with that little light there, it tells you as well. So that's pretty cool that I have this. It came with the truck when I bought it, so I actually get some to tow, you know, besides my ghost trailer. I got these big tow mirrors. I'm ready to go. So if anyone needs help with some towing or anything, just hit me up, you know, I got everything here. And then I also have this right here. It's a nice, I guess, ashtray. I don't know why they, this is 2018. I guess it is a 2013 truck, but yeah, I don't know why this is here. Obviously, I think this is for the notch for the actually put one right here. I don't know what these little ones are for, uh, matches. I have no idea what those could be. But as you can see, it's this thing comes out, it's completely clean. I don't know why it's all scratched up on there, but yeah, there's really nothing to see. Just a random compartment there, so that's about it. And of course, the, it's not like the RAM where you press that button and the whole thing flips up. There's no secret compartment here. Got this little thing right here. If it's a GoPro, that's about it. I don't know what to use this for right here. So, you press this once, you get traction control off, you hold it in. I think that's stable track, you can turn everything off with this button. Got this right here. I do use this sometimes. This is the best part about this truck. When I look at the interior, this is my favorite part. USB port, man. Charge and play music at the same time. I do have an aux right here, but I don't ever use it, so. That's basically the interior of this truck. I just want to go over with that with you guys. I never really go over. I just kind of pan around in here, but that's about it. So the one thing I haven't tried doing, and that is actually opening the hood of this truck. I don't think it's a good idea because of the damage. It may not be able to close, and that's what everyone's been saying. So yeah guys, for a little update on the situation here regarding this truck and this truck right now is that the, the dealer just has to call. Basically whenever all the parts are in, that's when I'm going to be bringing this truck in. We're going to be checking everything out, making sure everything's correct. By then we're probably just going to be dropping it off anyway, so that's going to be the day you know, and all that. It's been a couple days now, so I'm basically just waiting. It's probably going to be either today, tomorrow, Friday, I'm not really sure. They said it should be a couple days, so... Well, we're going to be dropping off this truck, and then we're going to be full-time driving the Cummins, and then possibly working on that truck while this truck is gone, so that's pretty awesome. I don't know, it's not that I don't want to engine mod this truck, it's just that it's so reliable right now. The Silverado has just always been that reliable go-to truck, I can always depend on it. It's just, I don't know, I've had it since such low mileage, there's never been any issues at all. Obviously, it does have the lift and all that stuff, but I'm saying that's why it's the go-to truck for off-road for long distance for daily driving there's just never been an issue with this truck so that's why i'm thinking i don't know if engine mods are the way to go obviously we can do some simple stuff but that's why i've been throwing stuff at the cummins because well the stuff is expensive and stuff but i mean if i'm already so far into the cummins already having a tune intake and we're gonna get an exhaust for it i mean why not just keep going with that truck obviously there's a bigger fan base for the diesel gas i don't know i mean i guess there is a fan base for both but i've always seen such a bigger fan base for the diesel trucks because there's just so much more power involved and there's a lot i don't know they're always heavy duty they can blow the smoke people want to see that regardless of what your thoughts are about that i'm not saying that's what i'm going to do but that's what people like it to see when it comes to trucks Let's catch you in a second bro just saw one just saw one guess that i just saw black obs ford short bed four door and it was a 7.3 power stroke you can't get any better than that Obviously, the 7.3 was hands down the best engine they ever made. So if I were to ever buy a Ford, I'd buy a 7.3. I mean, obviously, we now got the 6.7. So it's kind of hard to really say now because the 6.7 hasn't been out that long. But, you know, when it really comes down to it, if I could afford it, I'll get the 6.7. But if, I, if I'm if i looking for a reasonable truck that's not too expensive and not a newer one, then I'm going to go for the 7.3. Yeah, you know, I figured it would be a warm day out to not wear a hoodie. But now the temperature dropped. It's already gotten dark and it's only almost three o'clock so that's ridiculous haven't gotten any contact from the 
from the dealership so i guess the parts are not in yet so hopefully tomorrow will be the day if not then friday let's see what happens man start the computer of the truck says i get about 16.1 miles per gallon but then i do the calculation about how many how much miles i've driven and i think i actually forgot to reset it one of the fill ups and I, so I, I just divided by two because I'm almost at E and it says I'm getting 24 to the gallon. It's kind of weird, lift kit and mud tires, I don't know. So I guess I'm gonna redo the trip and actually get an accurate reading this time and then I'll let you guys know. Let me know what you think is uglier, a Chevy Avalanche or a Honda Ridgeline. I think a Ridgeline has to take the cake. I think those maybe for the people that they're, they're thinking, I don't know, do I really want a truck or do I want a SUV and maybe a sedan? And then they see the Ridgeline or, or the Avalanche like, oh, perfect wow this is this is everything it's got it all hey man if they're putting the inline sixes in these in these new silverados man i can't even think about any of the older trucks that is honestly so cool that they're going to be doing that i think it's an inline six that they're putting in right inline six diesel i think it's 3.5 or something that's pretty cool actually now that i think about it, the calculations may make sense and maybe you can use them both to actually get an accurate reading because Technically, I think I get around 2021. 20, so let's say I take the 24 and the 16, let's put it in the middle and you got the 20. So maybe using them both is actually a pretty good idea. Oh, look at that, man. Nice. And there's an SS. I love those bumpers. So yeah, if I ever were to buy one of those old, older, well, 2005-ish, Chevy Silverados, I'd definitely get one of those SS bumpers, put it on, those look sweet. made it here to the Triumph building where we sell a lot of cool Yamahas and stuff in there but I'm probably just gonna run to the BJ's real quick here we go brother oh my god here we go about to pick up the whole box These chairs right here are amazing. But nothing beats my wooden chair, I tell you what. Why do people really need a 75 inch TV? Holy crap. Even this is ridiculous. Well, it seems as if this sucker is leaking. I want a refund. Oh yeah, man. How good is this tint anyway? It's pretty dang good. Oh yeah, nothing like a freezing cold day out here, man. This thing gas guzzles like a mother clucker. Is there anyone I can talk to so I can buy this by the barrel so I can save money? Dang, Nabbit. Look at that price range. $61.79. You gotta be kidding me, man. Boom. Can never let that drip on there. It's terrible. Yes, please. Right there is a V10. It's got the badge on it and everything. You never see those V10s, man. Oh, well, the V10, actually, they made them in the Ram, too. I never... I know they made an 8.1-liter Chevy, but I don't think it was a 10-cylinder. That's that's crazy. They gotta make a 12-cylinder, you know? Put the engine in the back. All right, so I remember to reset the trip gauge, so that way I'll know, and we're at a full tank, so let's see what we can... Yeah, he is filling with his engine on. All right. Sounds good to me. 